Okay, you should make fun of me on this one because I'm using an early 1800s, um, like a little house in the prairie chalkboard. I've been using this for like 20 years. I got it at a flea market ages ago. I use it to uh, do math and write stuff out in field theory. Even though I got six computers and two iPads, I'd rather use this old chalkboard. So now we're going to talk about the differences between medium format and full frame or crop sensor. And what the actual differences are, since no one's making a video like this, I like keeping things simple. What could be simpler than like a little house on the prairie chalkboard for talking about uh, closer, longer, and larger? And that's what we're talking about, closer, longer, and larger. By the way, I have an important video after this one. It, the next video after this one is even much, much simpler, and I would like you to take a look at it. And it's not monetized or anything, but uh, you'll get an instant understanding of the differences. So now at a given distance, let's say we're gonna do a portrait and headshot of a little stick figure here with a given field of view, right? At this distance, right? We got a certain distance we're gonna stand. Doesn't matter if it's a Canon, a Nikon, or a Sony, we're talking about a full frame camera here, okay? And it's gonna be an 85 millimeter f 1.8 right so at this distance with this field of view with an 85 millimeter f 1.8 shot at f 1.8 we have a given compression and a given bokeh right and of course there are differences in bokeh depending on the lens construction and whatnot now another great portrait lens used by professionals often used more often than an 85 millimeter would be a 110 millimeter f2 dc nucor same 35 millimeter camera here and here but obviously we have to change our distance, right? Our distance has to increase, which of course changes compression and bokeh, to get the same field of view for a headshot or headshot slash upper body shot of our uh, subject, except this time with 110 millimeter on the full frame camera versus the 85 millimeter 1.8 on the same full frame camera. The differences between the full frame and the crop sensor, and of course the crop sensor is different than this, obviously so, respectively, relative to full frame, but between full frame and medium format, what changes? Okay, it's not the megapixels, not that the megapixels don't help, because of course they do. We're talking about closer with a longer focal equals far superior bokeh, which makes the 45 millimeter GFX. For example, a great portrait lens, actually, since you get a 35 millimeter field of view, but the bokeh of a 45 millimeter lens. So let's take this example here, and let's talk about the, dis the difference, okay? We're looking at the exact same field of view on the headshot of this person, except now we've gone to medium format, right? Now we're going to medium format for the same person. Okay, so what's changed? Remember this was 85 millimeter? Well now this is 110 millimeter, and it's also an F2, like the GFX 110 millimeter F2 lens, which has a field of view that's also 85 millimeter. Well, actually, it's a little bit wider than that. Same, this is where I actually have my 85 millimeter. So we're a headshot, head, upper body shot. Same field of view as the 85 millimeter on the full frame camera. Except now we've got 110 millimeter F2 DC Nikkor, which was back here on our full frame camera, right? Back here was FX 110 millimeter, right? Now we're talking about medium format here with the same field of view of an 85 millimeter. So now we've decreased our distance, but we've kept a longer focal. So the larger sensor, even though a medium format, let's say for example, the medium format was a 12 megapixel image, it would still look superior. It's not about the megapixels, not that that doesn't help for cropping out the image or zooming in obviously so, but it's unconstrained. Also too, we have no distortion of wider focals. Like well, 85 millimeters, people don't think, well, that's, that's not wide. You know, we don't really have distortion. Well, relative to 110 millimeter, it is, we have different compression and different bokeh, but we have a longer focal length at the same distance as we did with our FX camera. So the 110 millimeter back here on our FX camera has moved up here on our medium format camera, okay? This distance has been eliminated by using the medium format with the wider field of view with the longer focal length. Okay, we've gone from 85 millimeter to 110 millimeter F2. Now, we're talking about closer, right? It is closer, with a longer focal length, right? With a larger sensor, which has an equal field of view as the 85 millimeter. This is our field of view, which remained unchanged between 85 millimeter and the 110 millimeter on the medium format camera. C.
L, closer, longer, larger. Closer, longer, vocal. Closer, less distance. Distance is decreased. And larger sensor. Closer, longer, larger. Larger, excuse me. It's early in the morning here. So, is that perfectly clear? It's not about the megapixels, okay? We can actually, we're talking about an eight by 10 print, for example, or even a 20 by 30, even a 25 or 30 megapixel medium format image would have been more than sufficient for anybody to see the, dif the difference between the same shot, between the 110 millimeter at the same distance. We're talking about the same distance right here. Nothing has moved. Our tripod has remained in this spot, X marks the spot, except We've gone from 85 millimeter to 110 millimeter with the uh, medium format camera with the same field of view. So closer, longer focal lengths for, for superior bokeh and a larger sensor. Now when you shoot at the same distance between an 85 millimeter and 110 millimeter, you get the same field of view, but you get a telephoto capture, okay? You realize, let's erase all this stuff out and let's just talk about something really simple. We got our stick figure here, we got our tripod here, a camera and lens here, okay, and our subject here. I love these stick figure images. Well, this is really great. Same field of view. You shoot at the same distance between an 85 millimeter, both of these, I said our tripod is glued to the ground, 85 millimeter with a full frame camera, or 110 millimeter with the medium format camera, same field of view, okay? Same field of view, same distance, okay? But we're closer with a longer focal length. So you've got a telephoto capture with the same field of view and the same distance as a full frame camera. I hope I made that simple. Nothing gets more simple than a piece of chalk and an old uh, little house on the prairie chalkboard from the early 1800s, does it? Uh, I think not. Thank you so much for watching and please check out the next video. I'll make it even more simple really, really fast. I think uh, you'll like the next video. It's so simple, it's like, no duh. Thank you, and happy holidays.